Hello and welcome back to the video training. Today we're going to be talking about a tagging system. Now before you can understand the tagging type of system I'm going to be discussing, we need to lay a little bit of groundwork real quick. So we will go ahead and do that now. Okay, first I want you to imagine a filing cabinet. I'm sure you know, at home, at work, or whatever, you, you use a filing cabinet for some reason or the other. So you have a filing cabinet inside of that filing cabinet. You have drawers. You pull out the drawers. Inside of the drawers, you have folders. Inside of the folders, you have notes, papers, documents, things of that nature. Okay, so within Evernote, this is pretty much how Evernote is. You have notebooks, which are the actual filing cabinet. And then you can stack those notebooks, which become the filing cabinet drawers. Now, any other organizational uh, tags or, or folders you want to add have to be done with tags. So the folders inside of the drawers are going to be what we call tags. And then we can sub, sub, segment those tags down as far as we want. So let's say we have an actual filing cabinet that we want to label internet marketing, for example. So inside of our internet marketing um, filing cabinet, there's different segments that we need to segment down into. So for that, what we've done is we have conversions, list building, SEO, swipe files, um, social media can even go into the internet marketing um, filing cabinet or folder, if you will. And that's kind of how our tagging system is going to be based off of. The folders are going to be larger topic and then the the tags are going to be the subtopics within those. So you have a life folder. Within the life folder, you have bills, insurance, maintenance, and work uh, subfolders. And then inside of those subfolders, you have you can break that down even further. So inside of the bills folder, we now have cable bills, car insurance bills, electric bills, um, health insurance bills, and then you can segment that down even further by mine um, and hers for example, for a wife, a husband and wife, and that could be your name and her name. And then, uh, you know, you could se segment the phone bills down even further by creating, let's say, landline, which it would be, you know, your, your landline and your mobile phones. And then you can create, you can even break that down even further with your mobile bill whoops and oh the thing with tags is you can only have one tag even though if it's in a different category uh, so you we make that tag my mobile and then her no mobile okay so you and you can stack tags through infinity. So I could have one, another tag under here, which had another, another tag underneath it, which had an, another tag underneath it. Um, so it really allows you to get very specific with the way you create your tags. And really, I mean, the tagging system <laughs> is really that, that simple. Uh, just keep your folders very broad and then drill down with your tags. And what I like to do is for instance, right here, the bills, I'll, I'll have a tag called bills, but I won't actually use this tag because it's already in the bills folder. So I don't need to, you know, tag it with bills. I only use the specific tags. However, the reason I put this under here like this is so I can keep organized you know instead of having cable bills car insurance electric bills all within this list I can now have them right here in alphabetical order because if they are outside of this this tag they would be uh, alphabetized right inside of um, all the rest of our tags so it would be more scattered harder to keep up with and I do that with all of my categories so with life you know we have 
that let's look at uh, topics here's here's a good uh, strategy as well when it comes to your tagging system is I add little symbols to my relevant topics and things like that that I'm going to be using all the time and the reason I do that is because now I know I'm going to add a topic uh, tag to this if I just put the symbol I now have an alphabetized list of all the the normal topics that I I would use instead of if it was just with a you know if I just was looking for blogging you know it, it would just be um, you know just the B's or the S's if I was looking for social media um, but now I can just put in the symbol in all of my my topics come up in an alphabetical list for me, which makes tagging super easy and more convenient. So that's a, another strategy you can use. Now, I also, for my action, for my actions, I put an exclamation point so it stays up towards the top as well. And really, uh, tagging is that simple. It's very easy to do as long as you understand that you're going to be very broad with the notebooks and drill down further with the tags you'll be in good shape all right thanks this is shannon harrod and i'm hoping you enjoyed this video and as always hopefully i'll see you on hey thank you very much for checking out our evernote training if you want more just click on the playlist annotation to the right it says click here for the playlist and that will give you access to all of our Evernote training listed publicly here on YouTube. Now, if you would like a little bit more, on the left you can click on that link and get access to some privately listed Evernote training videos that we have that is exclusive on our website. You can get access to that as well by clicking on the annotation to the left. Thank you once again, and as always, hopefully I'll see you on the beaches of the world.